This is John with Central Classic Cars. I've got Matt Medlin with me today. Hello, hello. We're going to go through a 1971 Volkswagen Carmen Ghia. Beautiful car. Any thoughts? This is one of my favorites so far. Yep. This is one of my favorites. That dark emerald green, tan interior, tan top. Uh, once Jason starts putting some of the uh, photos in uh, the overlay, it's this is an incredible car. So yep. no, we're super proud to have it and super proud to showcase it. Yep. We're going to walk through the car with you and go through some of the details. So this car, we can kind of go through the body first. We'll go through the paint and, and, and highlight it. But this car has definitely been through a repaint. Mm -hmm. Um, I would I would characterize it as a good driver quality repaint. I mean, any thoughts on the paint? I, I think the paint looks great. It's a really dark green. I think it matches that that tan interior really well. Mm -hmm. I think it's a super classy looking car. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. Did I a mean, nice job. In fit and finish, I, I like too, especially when you hear this. That, that's a good solid sign on the door. Solid. You know, lines look great. Lines lines look great. I don't see any signs of overspray. Uh, a lot of pieces were removed. Trim pieces were taken off during the repaint. Uh, one exception I will say on the interior piece here, you've got a little bit of a different shade of green than you do on the exterior. It's not majorly obvious, but it does, it, it may be one small drawback on the paint. Um, the body of the car, another thing I always like to point out is these, um, these spacer lines underneath the on the rockers that are supposed to be there. Sometimes they'll put, People, when they do the repaint, they'll put Bondo, Bondo over those. Um, those are still here on this car. One thing they did remove was the uh, axle um, uh, piece that actually pops out, and you're supposed to be able to have an access point right here. That's been removed. Um, it does look clean and nice, but that, that is one drawback there. Um, tires on this car look brand new to me. I mean, they're, they're in great shape. It's got the porta walls on it. Mm -hmm. Any thoughts on the on the wheels? I think again, I think it's just a complimentary uh, look to the rest of the car. Yep. It's a very classy car, and I love the hubs. I yep. mean, what, what what do you call them? The uh, the yeah. center caps and and, yep. and, and 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 the white walls. That whole contrast is 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 very nice. These are called dog bowls in other yep. in the sixties, like big dog dog bowl, classy. Yep. Uh, yep. I think that matches again well with with the white walls. Mm -hmm. One flaw, one flaw that I do see um, is on this rear quarter, you've got a, a little bit of bubbling right here, but beyond that on the entire car, that was really the only major spot that I can see. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it, it's a good, solid driver, really nice driver. Yep, yep. So the engine on this car is a 1600cc dual port engine. Really nice inside the engine compartment. When you look in the engine, you'll see uh, the engine seal does need to be probably replaced. You got a Solex carburetor in there, new coil, new distributor, the alternator, all, all those pieces are great. We're gonna inspect it. We're gonna make sure that it's running properly. One of the most spectacular parts of this car is the, the interior and, and the convertible top. I mean, both of them have been redone. Any thoughts on the convertible top? Oh, I think it's beautiful. I think they've done a great job. Uh, it's been fully restored in, you know, inside. I love the little, you know, they, they put a USB charger in it. They put an Apple, I think it's an Apple uh, plug-in, uh, aftermarket Pioneer. This is to go drive and go have fun yep. and still be able to, you know, charge your phones while you're on the road. Mm -hmm. It's really cool. You've got the custom boot yep. that, that was installed, the custom seat covers, the interior carpeting has been redone. That, that's probably one of the nicest features beyond the car itself on the interior. It's just all that contrast with the green to the tan is very, very nice. The bumpers on this car are spectacular. They, on both front and rear, there's a few minor dings, but overall, extremely solid. I don't see signs of major rust or pitting on, on any of them. Another feature that we wanna talk about is the floor pans on this car. We've looked underneath. We've got quite a bit of, of documentation on it. The structure of this car is very solid. Uh, the pans, the, the head beam, the entire under, underside of the rocker panels, extremely solid. 
the inside of the wheel wells will have documentation for overall present very nicely mm -hmm. yeah This car is very unique in that it's an auto stick. The shift pattern is is also different than a regular four-speed shifter. Up and to the left is actually reverse. Down and to the left is uh, low gear. Up and to the right is first, and down and down and to the right is second. Um, there's no floor foot on f floor clutch, so the way that you activate and shift gears is actually by physically pushing down, and then putting in a gear and then release, and that puts it into gear. Mm. Uh, it's a very unique feature. So uh, you said that there's a low gear. Is a low gear like a granny gear, like to like get it yes, going? Yes, yes. And then at what speed do you flip it into first? You know, really just getting it, get it getting it five, 10 miles an hour okay. is what, I, what I've historically done. Yep. And, and you can kind of listen to the engine. There's no tack on this car, but again, your ears gonna yeah. be your best friend. You know, you, you put it in, see where you're at. Again, on this particular car, I don't know, but I'll, I'm guessing 10, 20 miles an hour, and get it into first, drop it into second. And then you're doing 100 miles an hour. Yeah, <laughs> minus 100 minus 60. 45. Yeah. <laughs> so we can fire it up, and you want to shoot a quick video of that? Thanks for checking out today's episode. Please check out our website, centralclassiccars.com. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. We've got so much awesome content with weekly updates on some of, all, some of our inventory. And also add us on Facebook.